previously in our tour of Connecticut. Uh-oh, what? Well, I've been kind of struggling with my Disney spells. It looks kind of haunted. Day two of the trip will take us from Falls Village to Suffield. We will hit the Twin Lakes before riding into Massachusetts state forests of Sandusfield and Granville, then down to Connecticut through the Tunxis State Forest. This will be a hillier route along with many unknown roads and trails, so we have to prepare for where the route will take us. Good morning. It is the following day now and uh, I'm all set and ready to go here. We just had finished breakfast at the Falls Village Cafe and had a big breakfast actually, um, knowing that I was, um, I didn't have, I didn't take in as many calories as I wanted to yesterday after the ride. So I wanted to make sure that I get a, enough calories for today's ride. Uh, good news and bad news. Good news is that it is going to be cloudy outside, so cooler temperature, which is a good thing because um, we're going to be riding through a remote area today, so less water stops. The bad news is there's a chance of rain, so um, a slight chance of rain, so um, we'll see what the day is going to be like as we ride through. Today's route is going to be 65 miles with about 5,500 feet of climbing. We are headed over to Suffield. Um, we're gonna go up to Massachusetts and down into Suffield. We are gonna head out. We're gonna get ready to head out and see you on the road. All right. You want me to go first? We began the day riding past hikers who, I presume, were hiking the Appalachian Trail. The Appalachian Trail, also known as the AT, spans over 2,100 miles from Maine to Georgia. Similar to the Pacific Crest Trail in the West Coast, adventure seekers and die-hard outdoorsmen and women attempt to hike the entire trail, some successful and others not so much. It gave us some peace of mind that we would not be on foot through rough terrain on our trip. That and we were only doing 370 miles. Yep. Starting off our ride here, uh, forecast is saying cloudy with a chance of rain later. Pretty cool this morning as in temperature wise, 60 degrees. So I got my rain jacket on and uh, making sure my core temperature is nice and warm jason's feeling okay with his dizziness i still have the sniffles it comes and goes so it does help to blow my nose once in a while to clear it out uh yeah this road that we're taking right now is uh you might have seen a couple of uh hikers as part of the Alkalation Trail. 
Uh, eventually it's going to turn into dirt. Uh, and then we're going to head over to Massachusetts and then back down into Connecticut. Yeah, uneventful would be nice. Just have a nice, uh, hopefully, nice easy ride. And, or more importantly, a nice quiet ride. It'd be nice if all the roads just stay like this with no cars on them. Yeah, look how quiet it's been so far. Uh, I think it's going to be uh, start to get busy once we get close to Suffield, I think. Yeah. Judging on the uh, Google Maps. Does yours look like that too? I guess it's safe if you're not wearing your sunglasses, it's probably better that not to get too close to me, ride too close, or that either that or ride to my side because all that dirt is going to pick up on, on your face. Car up. Oh, it's car. were quiet with many that took us along farmland. Dairy cattle grazed on lush grass with their young by their side. Oh, we forgot to take a picture by the... Well, already made a boo-boo. Made a wrong turn. So, turning back around and hopefully finding the right route to go into. We missed our turn into Wildcat Hollow Road. I didn't see that on the on the GPS. Uh, or it didn't alert me. Maybe it didn't. I was just too distracted. So we're making a turn. Or we just made a U-turn and turning back around. We rode through a place called Twin Lakes with two lakes set side by side one another called Washini Lake and the other Washining Lake. With the clouds cloaked over the trees, the landscape was sort of eerie, yet stunning. here on River Road. I feel like there's a River Road at pretty much in every town. Uh, I think we're in, we might be in Southfield because we're, our first stop is a place called Southfield Store. And we're, it's, it's at the 20 mile mark. We're 21 miles into the ride, but we did go the wrong direction for a short time in the beginning. So we should be getting close to that, um, to our first stop. We're just stopped here for a little nature break. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's a, it's 
chilly, um, not chilly, it's, it's cool today and cloudy. We did get hit with a little bit of drizzle, uh, but nothing too serious. Um, good news is we're feeling pretty good today. Um, I haven't had my dizzy spells yet. <laughs> uh, hopefully that continues. Um, so, so far the ride's been going pretty well for me and, um, I think Joy's feeling pretty good too. We're taking it pretty easy today, a little easier than yesterday. Um, you know, have some fatigue in the leg, in the legs, uh, just kind of taking our time today. Um, but some really nice quiet roads so far and, um, we're enjoying being able to just chat with each other as we ride and have no noise from cars or anything. Thanks. We were spoiled with a relaxing ride through pristine country roads with few cars in sight. Once we crossed into Massachusetts and stopped in Southfield for a quick replenish, we rode into Sandusfield State Forest. The road turned into a snowmobile road, which was also used by ATVs in the summer. Yeah. With the bikes weighed down with no suspension, this double track rocky ascent signaled it was time to get off and walk to prevent punctures and or injuries. It was better safe than sorry. Your uh, walking this portion, it is too rocky and it's loose, pretty technical, and I don't want to risk us getting a puncture, so might as well just walk it. It looks like this. The video may not do any justice, but. Jason's also getting dizzy again, probably from all the jumps, all the bumps, I mean. So, hopefully we get some reprieve. We will, um, just don't know how long this is gonna last. No worries, we'll get there when we get there. Really sharp rocks. bad as the ones there was before. It looks pretty smooth now. Oh good. We're out of the woods. One of these technical sections we rode through landed us on someone's property and a trail took us out into dense trees. Whoa. Oh, we go straight. Yeah. What the hell? Careful, okay? Oh. The scenery is 
very nice. Looks like it's turning into some single track here. The thick forest provided plenty of shade, but it was also a challenge to see. The trail turned into a rough single track, and once again, we found ourselves off the bike, guiding it down a steep downhill. I'm gonna try this. More double track. Well, civilization is to the left. I think I see smooth gravel road. Finally, that was a really rough downhill double track and my shoes are not meant for hiking. So my feet are starting to bother me from all that downhill. Not my knees, but my feet, uh, mainly my toes. Anyway, enough talking. I need to do a nature break. It took forever to get out of the state forest. Then we were met with a steep climb in New Boston. Luckily it had freshly laid asphalt and was quiet enough to zigzag our way up to the top when needed. We then entered a town called Tolland where we stopped to replenish food and water. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. So we still have 30 miles to go. Um, oh, that single track section really slowed us down, or the double track, I mean, when we went off-roading, um, really slowed us down because we had to pretty much just walk the trail. Um, so we're in Tolland right now, um, a place it's, it's actually called Small Town Convenience Store. And Jason's going in there to get water. Uh, 35 miles and still have the sniffles, 3,500 feet of climbing. So we have about 2,000 more feet of climbing to do. And this road was pretty hilly, that's for sure. Really hilly. You could tell from the bike, it is really, well, pretty dirty. This is primarily due to, uh, primarily from the double track. Gosh, I was trying to avoid some off-roading today because I know Strava d tends to do that, but <clears throat> unfortunately, we still did some off-roading. All right.
Oh no. Let me try to make it through this ride and then. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Yeah. Unfortunately for me, my dizzy spells returned. I was beginning to question the decision of riding for two more consecutive days before a rest day. I even questioned whether I could still go on with this ride with 30 miles left to go. I watched the miles tick down from 30 to 20, then 10, until it hit one mile. We arrived at our Airbnb in Suffield with great relief and hunger pains. Okay. After a nice shower, we ordered pizza within walking distance from our accommodation and stuffed ourselves. Next right. Okay.